Macca's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Mac here. The summer update on the Xbox One enabled background music. I've been getting a lot of messages about how it works and the easiest ways to implement it in your scenario. So I'll be showing you two unique ways. The first method involves local music on a USB key or hard drive physically stored somewhere that's gonna be going to your console. What you're gonna need for this method is an app called Simple Background Music, which you can download on the App Store. After downloading it, you'll want to then take your USB key or hard drive and plug it into your computer. From there, open it up and inside create a folder titled Xbox Music Library, exactly as shown on screen. From there, you'll want to drag and drop all the music you'd like to play into that folder, which is located on that USB key. Now take that USB key or hard drive and bring it over to your Xbox, plugging it into one of the USB slots. Load the simple background music app, press the Y button for it to find all the music in the folder, and it'll begin playing. For the background music to work, all you need to do is switch apps into a game you want to play. You may notice that there is already in-game music playing in which you'll need to go to the game settings to turn it down or off. And you may also notice that your actual background music is either too loud or too quiet. And to adjust that, all you'll need to do is double tap the Nexus button and at the very bottom of the sidebar, you'll find the controls under the music logo. From there, you can pause or skip songs as well as adjust the volume. If dragging and dropping local files onto USB key seems like too much work for you and your PC and Xbox are already on the same Wi-Fi network and you have OneDrive enabled, you can stream songs directly from your PC to your Xbox using the Groove Music app. One quick note here is that there's two apps for some reason, an older version and a newer version, so make sure you have the newest one from the marketplace and the logo should be colored the same as your dashboard color. Setup here is pretty simple. All you'll want to do is drag and drop all of your music into the OneDrive folder of your computer and then make sure it's under the music tab. From there, Groove Music should automatically sync the next time you log in, but if it doesn't, you'll have to manually trigger it. Also, if you have a lot of music, this process tends to take a long time. Unfortunately, it seems that you may also need to have a Groove Music membership to enable OneDrive streaming from your PC, which is a 30-day free trial or $9.99 per month afterwards. After that, you do the exact same thing as in the other scenario. Just go out of the app and select a game that you'd like to play and the music should continue playing. And feel free to use that sidebar in order to control the music. Groove Music also tends to have a lot more flexibility as you can stream background music for stuff you don't necessarily have the files to by just finding it on the actual Groove Music network and then starting the album or songs or radio playlist. At this point in time, that might be the best solution for people who don't necessarily have their own digital music library yet. Hopefully we see more of the music related apps available on the marketplace take advantage of background music in the future so we can also use them. Last but not least, I wanted to be able to show you guys how to listen to a podcast as background music on your Xbox One. And for that, you'll need the app called Cast. You can find this app in the store, so you'll want to download it and then start the app. Then use the search bar to find your favorite podcast, press on it, and press play on the episode you'd like to listen to. After that, it works the exact same way to everything else I've explained. Just get out of the app, start your favorite game, and it should continue playing. Make sure you use the sidebar controls in order to adjust the volume and where you are in the podcast or go to full screen mode in order to scrub through it. Of the 150 tracks in that game, which, uh, I remember like literally yelling for that one. That's probably one of them. And that was pretty recently too. Right. Well, Chris Bledis has the question. Uh... If your favorite podcast is not available on the cast app, you'll probably have to physically download the file and then run it using one of the first two methods. Hopefully this video was helpful to you guys. That was me sharing a couple of ways that you can use background music right now as of August 4th in the summer update. Feel free to use the simple background music app in order to load music straight off of a USB key or use OneDrive paired with Groove Music in order to stream it directly from your PC. Hopefully as time continues, more and more apps adopt the background music capability so we can see stuff like TuneIn Radio, iHeartRadio and other apps using it. 
Make sure you check out Omega D's music as well as the TXR podcast, which I am a member of. We go on every week on Monday night. Or you can catch the episode afterwards if you can't make it live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you found out exactly what you needed to find out and that it was informational for you. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I see you next time. Special shout out to the gigs and Doc Cupcake 84 for supporting the show on Patreon. See you guys next time. Peace.